Hey everybody, welcome to ROA Off-Road. We are really excited to be bringing to you one of our newest trailers as a part of our off-road lineup. And today we're gonna to be filming a full tour on the purpose. Yeah, and Josh Wright. Yeah. And I'm Shane with ROA Off-Road. And before we get into this tour, just wanted to kind of let you know if you're new to our channel, a little bit about who we are and what we are all about. First of all, we are the premier off-road camper store in America, right? We only carry off-road products. We have things from Patriot, Tonkers, just a cool, cool lineup of campers. And today we wanna go through this one. We've never limited our search for off-road trailers to geographic, just what's near us. We've had conversations with places out in Turkey. I've talked to people in the Netherlands, Canada, Australia, obviously, South Africa, I mean, all over the world. Yeah, for sure. So so that's kind of a little bit about who we are. Really, when it comes to, to off-road campers and trailers, there's we're your one-stop shop in America for this stuff. And what makes us very unique is that we're actually users. We don't just sell this product. We actually go out and we camp in it. We use it. We're enthusiasts. We are first and foremost, off-roading enthusiasts and campers. Second, we sell cool product. Another thing that's very unique about ROA Off-Road is it's not it's not just a transaction when you work with us. We, we have a community of people. When you come and purchase a camper from us, you become a roamer. What that means is that you're part of a community and we do rallies, we do adventures. So it doesn't matter the camper you have, whether it's an RKS, or Patriot, you become part of that community. And we, we love we love our roamers. You know, we move heaven and earth for them. We have a tech support line. It's really cool what we do. I, I believe it's we're more unique than any other place in America when it comes to selling these. Some places are dealers. We actually, our place, we call it the ROA Experience Center because we're not really a dealer. We are, it's more about an experience with us. So we should get into this tour though, right? Okay, let's do it. Okay, awesome. Start, starting with under the awning, right? It's nice and cool under here, that's for sure. Okay, ready, go. Okay. All right, so we just put away the awning because we wanted to give people a chance to see how quickly somebody could set this up. And also, just so people are aware, this is actually Shane's first time with the awning. He's never done anything with this awning before. So this is his first go. So we're just gonna time it. Uh, right now, I don't know if you can see that. We'll probably pull it up on the uh, on the YouTube, but uh, right about 29, 30 seconds. And just wanna see how easy this is for people. Yep, so there's two straps that it comes with to help get the awning all nice and taut on each side. Um, Overland Vehicle Systems. It's 270, so the nice thing is once this is all set up, it's gonna cover us entirely uh, over the kitchen. And where we are out in the middle of nowhere, some shade is very nice. He's hustling. Well, we're at a minute 43. Well, I don't know if we need to include that in the timer. Yeah, but where are we at right now? We're at two minutes and 20 seconds. Okay, that's nice and tight. Stop. Okay. Two. 227. I think for my very first time ever. At two minutes? Two minutes is not so bad. No, and that's I, not bad at all. I actually think I could have done it faster. I was fumbling with uh, the strap over there and yeah. trying to chain it up. But yeah, two, and in my first time ever. If I do that a couple more times, I think I could shave off a minute. Yeah, for sure. And you did the straps, which I wouldn't, I don't know if I would have done Yeah, you can do the straps. That will hold it, it will secure it. If yeah. the wind kicks up, it will not make it nice and secure. But tell you what, coming under here, Oh, that's nice. Ooh, here in the desert, that drops like 10 degrees when you yeah, get the shade, it's, right? You can feel it quickly. Well, it's really nice. It feels good. It feels good quality too. Yeah. So, yeah, and it's all metal. Yep. We got nice welded and everything, aluminum. It's all bolted to this, so very nice. Okay, 
Well, what up? what's up next on the itinerary? What I'd like to do is I'd like to go around the outside of the trailer, talk about the construction of the trailer, uh, a lot of the nice and unique features all around the trailer before we go inside. Okay, Josh, so what, what is the construction? What are the walls made of? So these walls are made out of a polypropylene honeycomb sandwich. So essentially you have walls on each side that are kind of like uh, fiberglass. And then in the middle, it's polypropylene in a honeycomb configuration, okay? And so they did that for a couple of reasons. Number one, weight. Uh, so they're very conscious of weight. That's something that RKS prioritizes heavily. Their background, they worked at uh, Fisker, I think working in the electric car industry. Okay. And so weight is very important to them. So they wanna be able to have very, very low weight while not compromising on strength. The nice thing about that is a lot of trailers are using um, aluminum yeah. all over and aluminum is, metal is a conductor. So the nice thing about having these polypropylene walls is that it's not a conductor. So the metal is gonna be in the chassis, which is aluminum, and in these custom made uh, C channels that they have all around. And it, and it looks like they're using the Eurovision and those are uh, dual pane polycarbonate. Yes. Uh, these are very strong, much stronger than glass. We've thrown baseballs at these and yeah. break. we've hit them with trees. And that dual pane is also gonna help with the insulation as well. Now I'm noticing some track Yes. Systems. Would you explain a little bit about that? So that was one of the things that they wanted to do is to utilize this track system all over the trailer. So it's, it's along the roof here. It's inside of the trailer. It's right here. So if you wanted to have a table that you could set up here, a barbecue, you could use it for mounting additional off-road gear. They just make the unit very modular with these T-track systems. Um, all over the place. And it looks like the awning is goes into the T-Track. Is that how that is or is that mounted differently? So it, it is going into the T-Tracks um, because of their design. What they, I actually purchased these from RKS. These are special mounts that RKS makes so that you can mount an awning with the T-Tracks. And, and I'll say one other thing with the construction, actually, if you look around the outside of this trailer, there's something that you won't see all throughout the outside and that's bolts. Everything on this trailer was all put together with industrial strength glue. So the walls are actually going into these C channels up here and, they're, and it's used with a, an extremely extremely strong glue. So actually they, they did some tests. Yeah, it's automotive. I yeah. think it's because they work in the automotive. So they said it's one of the strongest glues in the world actually, but. Yeah, so they did tests where they put, they would glue in a, a, a panel into this C channel. So the, the panels just fit in there like this. They glue them in yeah. and they could stand on it and it wouldn't break off. Yeah. Like it's, it's really, really strong. So the thing that's nice about that is screws inevitably come loose. Like when you have uh, trailers that have, and we have, I honestly think all of our trailers, yeah, most, most all are- Have some sort of screws. Or, right? You know, you so, have to use Loctite and other, you know, different things. Yeah, so there's things you can do, but that is one thing that they priority prioritized was, was not having um, any screws in the construction here. So at least on the outside, they may have some inside, but on the outside, that's something you'll find that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. And tell us a little bit about this wheel well, fender, tires, and rims. This is pretty cool looking. Yeah, so this is a custom built fender that they have. One of the things that is unique about uh, this setup is that the purpose, I actually don't know if it's standard or not, but what we ordered was disc brakes. And that's not something that you have very often on a trailer is disc brakes. Usually when you get your trailer, it's gonna be coming with a drum brake, but these come with really, really nice disc brakes. That's really awesome, yeah. So, and you have the uh, uh, aluminum rims and it looks like you have some uh, bearing buddies. Which yeah. Which is easy grease, easy for maintenance. You don't yep. have to pull out. Some of, the, some of the campers that we deal with, you have to pull out the whole hub assembly and it's, yeah. most people won't do it by themselves is because it's just too much work. This, there's just a cap, you pull it off and you can, you know, have a grease gun and just, Feeling some grease. Yeah, making it really easy. Yeah, you can definitely tell that they have thought 
about the uh, user yeah and, uh, and automotive it, it feels very automotive-esque right yeah you have a load range tire it's a mud snow which is probably overkill generals which are amazing so yeah you're definitely they're not they're not they're not skimping on this this looks very like everything on this looks like premium and expensive so you know what i just thought of one other thing in conversations that i had about the construction with travis and elizabeth one of the things that they do with this trailer that a lot of people i think it's kind of the uh homegrown feel all of their parts for the construction of this trailer are sourced locally from upholstery to wraps to all their materials they everything is usa nothing is is outsourced okay all of the stuff that they buy for this trailer i believe most of it is locally sourced oh, wow. which is really really cool so they're they're building in california and they're employing people and getting all the materials in california which is really cool. Now a little bit about the wraps. Tell me about these. This this is a wrap. Yeah, so this oh. is this is one of the wraps. I believe that they have three, but you can also customize it. They have this one, they have like a a camo green, and I can't remember what the other one is. But they have a few different options. We just like this one. Now it looks like these jacks are pretty sweet because they come up all the way out of the way yep. and they're not hanging under to cause any damage or scrape them off. That's right. So what they do, the idea behind this, as soon as you yank that out, you just drop down. So the idea behind this is no mechanics, no machinery, okay? And if you needed to extend one side a little bit more, what Travis was saying is you just lower the front a little bit and then when you need to get this side to touch again, you just raise the front up. Yeah, that makes right? Sense. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's no there's no turning involved. There's no there's no machinery. They yeah. just made it very very easy and serviceable. Yeah, very easy. That is so. nice, and it's all the way out of the way. Yep. So you're not gonna scrape it. Now, what is the frame made out of? Aluminum. Oh, the actual frame down yes. there. Yes. It so looks like it's powder coated or? Yes, it's powder coated. Okay. They made it out of aluminum again because of weight. Yeah. The problem with and the reason why not a ton of people do aluminum is because of its flexibility. A lot of people will use steel, unless you make aluminum at a certain density, like uh, thick enough, right? So if aluminum is thick enough, then it can hold its form and withstand off-roading. Yeah. So that's what they've done, is they've still used aluminum to take advantage of the lightweight, they just made it thick enough so that it can be strong enough for an off-road trailer. Okay, that's really cool. So back here, it looks like we have a little receiver. Honestly, that is such a big deal. So many people, and we have several trailers that don't have it. Yeah. We we really do. It's just a really big thing. A lot of people that like to go off-roading love to have a bike. They love to have bikes that they can take with them. And to be able to mount it here or extra storage, that's really nice. Yeah, and there, we don't have any sewage stuff hanging back here. Not hanging, but underneath is actually where our gray and our black, actually just our black release. Okay. There is no gray release, it goes into black. What kind of system does that come out of? So it's actually all tied into the toilet. So they use a macerator and because it's part of a macerator, it's actually, they use a pump. Okay. So when you go to empty your black, you it actually has um, in the front a button you push and it pumps. Yeah. everything out it's not gravity so the macerator cuts up everything and like it's like a blender yeah almost and it but it pumps it out and nice it. nice little poop smoothie yeah of course delicious <laughs> uh yeah and we've actually dealt i've dealt with a lot of these uh um, when you get into the you know uh, yachts i haven't dealt with them on yachts but like when you deal with 800 to a million dollar plus motor coaches that's they what actually they use. use macerators yeah, yeah. So, so that's just mounted underneath here is you have a general release and you have a black tank release. Now what kind of suspension are we sitting on? So they're using Timbrin independent suspension. Oh awesome. And what's the do we got bodyguards or you know coverings for everything under here? What's going on? Under here? Actually underneath it's all enclosed. So if you look underneath the trailer, you're not gonna get access to anything. Everything's fully enclosed. And nothing's gonna get hit off while you're off-roading. Nope, we had somebody call us that bought another trailer and their tank was mounted underneath their trailer and it just fell off. <laughs> so 
that's just not a problem with these trailers everything is actually the tanks are actually mounted inside of the frame yeah, that's in the construction of this trailer but looking underneath it's very very clean all aluminum underbelly yeah. okay coming over here to the driver's side of the trailer i want to point out a few more things before we go inside uh, over here we have a city water fill but this is also where you're going to be able to fill your tanks is through this inlet right here we have our spare tire that's mounted to the trailer here and up here this is actually a vent for our ac inside this is our ac vent right here we have a cable connection so for those who go to rv sites that have cable hookups and then you've got your solar plug-in right here and okay. you can also use this for a satellite dish if you had a dish, oh nice throw it out on the ground and plug in if you want to watch the game and you're out in the middle of nowhere i think a satellite dish i didn't know that there you go Star that's really or cool starlink now starlink no Star no, no no this is not for starlink yeah, but yeah. I'm saying you can get starlink and just stream it yeah okay this is kind of unique this whole front area what's this first so this guy right here is connected to our propane tanks in the rear which we haven't opened that up we probably should do that next but uh, that's where our kitchen is so this is going to allow us to hook up the propane to our outdoor stove okay and then what is this huge big black box with all this ventilation up here this is where they keep uh, a lot of the big components for the trailer okay, uh, which components the hot water heater and the heater so in this system, they use the Truma AquaGo for your hot water heater. Okay. Okay. This is the Truma heater. This is a propane heater that they utilize for the cabin. And here we have two 20 pound propane tanks. And what do we have in front of the propane tanks right there? This is uh, for the brakes. Okay, so it's a hydro uh, disc brake yes. system. Yes. Okay. Yes. And it looks like we have a breakaway system up here. Yep. For uh, security. That's right. Okay, so this uh, 750 series arc. Okay. And that goes up and down and, and you can roll. How, how heavy is the trailer again? So the trailer is 2,800 pounds. Okay. So dry. Dry, empty. Yeah. So you you can push this around, and that's what's so nice about yeah. the wheel. Yeah. Yep. That's awesome. And what kind of what kind of hitch are we using? Uh, they come with a lock and roll. Okay. So it, it is an articulating hitch, which is standard in the off road industry. Yeah. If you don't, if you're I, there's a lot of companies out there claiming to do off road trailers, and they don't do articulating hitches. Right. Which that is a sign that it's not. <laughs> off -road trailer. Right. 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 It has big tires. Doesn't mean it's off road. Yeah just means it has big tires. That's right. My Geo Metro has big tires. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Okay. That's awesome. And and what is what do we got over here? What is this? So, this is uh this is a 110 120 120 volt plug-in okay. right here. Okay. And that's to charge the systems? Uh no. No. Oh, that's an outside plug. Yeah. So you can plug in. The uh the shore power actually comes from a built-in cord. This okay. actually comes with it right here. This guy right here, it's actually wired directly into the system. So this cord doesn't leave the trailer. Okay. And then that, and you just pull that in and plug it in. Yeah, the and they're, you, they're utilizing 120 volts so that you can plug it in basically anywhere. Into any outlet. Anywhere. Yes, exactly. Okay, awesome. Now, where where is the kitchen? It has an outside kitchen, is that correct? Yeah, let's go check it out. Okay, we're gonna open up the kitchen right here and uh, talk a little bit about one of the nicest parts of the trailer. Okay, so one of the things that they have that is pretty cool is this guy right here, okay? So what you do with this guy, this is gonna make it so that our door stays put. So we're gonna put this guy, goes right into here, okay? And then over here, we have the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna jump over to the other side and get it all hooked up. So you can see here, this. Let's see here. Oh, let's just use this one right here. Yep. That's it. So 
So now our door will just stay put. That's what that little mechanism's for. So this is a dual zone, did you talk about this? No, we haven't got there, we just opened up the door. Okay. So real quickly in here, um, everything that you see in here as far as you know what's in the trailer, these were all custom cut and designed for the RKS purpose. This is anodized aluminum. Just has a nice feel, nice look. Nice storage up in here on each side. And those are really nice latches, really heavy duty, right? Yeah. And those are, and the salt, it has a nice seal gasket in there. Yep. Shuts in and just. Yeah, it's solid. You just feel it when you come back here. So one thing that's nice when we'll go inside, you'll see the entertainment system. So inside they have a nice TV that we'll show you, but also right by the TV, you can set up the surround sound and uh, you have speakers right into your kitchen. Um, also, these are not just speakers. These are Rockford Fosgate. That's a really, it's a really nice brand. Oh, that's awesome. So they, they use really, really good materials and um, high-end products in the construction of oh, this yeah. trailer. I mean, look, we have the Truma fridge. You see so many people just doing whatever. They're, yeah. They're clearly hitting. Yeah, they want to the get premium. the best stuff. And what do we got under here? Is this just access? Or no, they have, uh, under here, we have a pump. We actually do have a built-in filter back here as well for your sink. And then something else that's pretty cool is this is a soap dispenser. Okay. So which is pretty slick. Nice sink soap dispenser. And what, what's this? Just a little. This is, just, yeah, just, just utility. Utility. Yeah, if you have wet utensils or whatever. And it looks like we have another plug over here. Yep, this is another and, 120. And what is this? This is for lights? Yep. Inside? Okay. Yep. And what do we have all along this area? This is all the componentry for getting water into the trailer and pumping water to the different outlets, okay? And what is this? This right here is an indicator for your fresh tank. Okay. Indicator for your gray tank, indicator for your black tank. Okay, so you know where you're sitting at. Yep, gauges it, for all of them. And it looks like there's something, this is not a hard wall, is this goes to the inside. That's right, so one of the things that they did in this, for multiple reasons, again, they tried to make this as modular as possible. So this is all stuff that can just go away. And actually you can remove this fridge. These go away and this actually can become to some degree a toy hauler where you could shove in canoes and kayaks, bikes. It looks um, like you could even do it with the fridge just kind of if you had some skinny like paddle boards and stuff, yeah. you could slide them right in there too. Yep, yep. But these are just removable. And if you don't want these in the way, these can go out of the way and you'll be able to see inside of the trailer. And from inside of the trailer, you can get access to your fridge. Okay. That's so really cool. while the kitchen is closed, you can reach in because it opens up from- oh, It doesn't open from that side. Uh, then we can adjust it so that it can. Okay. It's, you can rearrange it. Yeah. So. That's cool. Yeah. And then uh, what do we have behind you on the door? So this right here is our stove and more or less, what we would do is you just take this off and then we can lower it if we wanted to to a place that's suitable for short people like me. So you can have it at whatever height that you want. A little bit. There we go. There we go. Wow, that feels really heavy duty. Yeah. Yep, these, they also custom made these. Yeah, I can tell it has everything's RKS. And... So, and then up in the front, like we pointed out, it's got that propane hookup so that we can hook up this stove directly into both of our 20 pound propane tanks. That's amazing. That's awesome. So. Really nice and clean. Yeah, it's a really nice kitchen. And especially with this awning here, you know, here we are out in the middle of the desert and we can cook and eat in the shade. Yeah, it's nice and hot here. Not right here, but like five feet over here. Yeah. Out of side of here. It's yeah. And it looks like you have some sort of zippers with this. Yeah, so, so you, you can do walls. You can do walls. You just order those separately. Yep. Okay. Exactly. That's really cool. This is a nice this is a nice little space and I really like this and you got everything everything you need. So Yeah. Well we should go inside. You should show okay. inside. Let's do it. So before going inside, we open this up and you have a handy dandy little tool here. That is how you operate the roof, right? To go yeah. 
So this is not normally here. Yeah, but... which is fine. We got the awning. Yeah. Here, so. Okay, so we're just gonna take up the bathroom area. Okay. Okay. Now we can go in the trailer without it up, but yeah. this is gonna make it more This is one of the, what we're about to do is do one of the most unique parts of the trailer. So the trailer, when the front is down, is under seven feet. Okay. So what that is like one of the most unique parts about this trailer is the low profile of the trailer and its weight. So in its class, the fact that, and you're gonna see here that we can have a full bathroom and shower in a trailer that's 2,800 pounds and has a full bathroom and shower, it just doesn't exist. It's only 2,800. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's, there's no other trailer like it. Yeah, of this size. Yeah. It has a queen size bed, right? Yeah. Okay, before we go inside, we're just gonna talk about the front door and this entryway right here. Get a nice little shot of our bathroom before we go inside. Uh, one of the things you'll notice as you get ready to go into the trailer, this is your step. And this is actually really nice, this step is. It's all metal. It has no obstruction underneath the trailer. So we actually have lots of off-road trailers that have steps that can easily get caught. Oh, nah. And so that's one thing that's really nice about this step is it's never going to get in the way. It just goes right out of the way. So really, really nice right there. This, yeah, this door, um, it does have a couple of settings. It allows us to separate. There we go. So if you want to be inside and just have your screen open. So on the screen, um, I want to point out to you, some trailers, they have a very, very thin outer screen, I guess. But one thing that's nice about this door is that we actually have a nice thick inside metal screen as well. So there's a, a thinner one on the outside and a nice thick one on the inside. I know that we have a lot of- uh, oh, That hurt. That yeah. Is, that is nice and metal, isn't it? Yeah. So we have a lot of dog owners and that's one of the things that they look for is how thick the screen is. So if the dog crawls up on the screen, are they gonna fall through it? You know, stuff like that. This one, definitely not. It's really, really strong. So this is a really good door. Kids too. Yeah. No kids are running through that thing. Nope. That thing is super strong. Strong, beautiful. And it looks like we have a outside light too. Yep. So that outside light just gets access from right in here. Is that turning it on? Nope. Oh no, it's this one then. There you go. Oh, and is it on a dimmer? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. All the lights are on a dimmer inside. Oh, that's great. So tell us about this bathroom. What's what's so unique about this bathroom? 2,800 pound small trailer that fits in your garage. Yeah. You can be seven feet tall in yeah. this bathroom. So you're, you really don't have any height limits inside of this bathroom. I mean, the fact that you have this really nice porcelain toilet and a standing shower inside of a trailer that you can tow technically with a Jeep, that's where it breaks all the rules. Well, and it's, it's pretty incredible. You literally got a text off of camera a minute ago that said, hey, they were gonna buy one of our campers and his wife just said, absolutely not, because there was no interior bathroom and yeah. just hard wall. She's like, I don't want all just canvas. Yeah. It's like a tent, it's a yeah. glorified tent, right? Yeah. So that's something that you're, that makes this so unique is, you know, it is light enough for those Jeep enthusiasts, but it has those conveniences that our ladies like. Yes. Right? And yep. that's what it's all about, getting the ladies to go camping with you. Yep, it's easy to convince the guys to get a trailer. It's the ladies that are quite a bit harder and having a nice bathroom and shower makes a big difference for them. So to be able to come inside here and uh, this is our shower right here and I can actually adjust this right here. Raise it up to the height that I want, tighten it. I can lower this and no, I can comfortably take a nice shower in here. 
There's our shower right there, hot and cold, really simple so and Josh, adjustable. Will you talk dirty to us about this toilet? Yeah, let's talk dirty. <laughs> so, uh, number one, space is really good. Wait, I thought we were gonna talk about number two. Cause I yeah, said dirty. Uh, yeah, 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 we'll get to number two. Okay. Nice, nice one, Shane. Okay, so number one, it is really comfortable. We'll get to number two. I do actually kind of like this for my arm. You did too when you were sitting here. That was, this is nice. So porcelain toilet. This is a macerator. So you have a 60 gallon black tank. You have 70 gallons of water and uh, you have a 60 gallon black tank. So you can be off grid for a really long time. And one of the other things that's really nice about this toilet is the way it recycles water. So you have the option here because this is based on uh, being in a yacht. You can see you have fresh and sea are the options here and fresh is going to be what allows you to draw from your fresh water tank and C is actually when you're going to draw from your gray tank the water that you've used when you've actually taken a shower or washed your hands you can then use that water to flush the toilet which is going to allow you to stay off grid for a longer period of time and one of the other things that's pretty cool in here is uh, we open this up we've got our nice TP stand um, it's nice to have it in a convenient location that's um, out of the way. Yeah, in, 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 in a sealed area yeah. where it's not going to get wet. Yeah. So this guy right under here, this is actually a water conditioner. Uh, what that does is you actually fill that up with nice smelly. Uh, it's, it, it actually just makes the, your waste, it's going to go in with your waste when you flush the toilet to make it so it doesn't stink. That's what it does. That's awesome. This is like uh, your four star, five star resort. Okay, so uh, over here real quick. So we have this nice mirror here and these buttons here. One of them is gonna be able to turn on lights inside of this area here. And this right here, commonly referred to as the fart fan. Ooh. Very important, especially with because of our cameraman. That's right. That's right. Especially after eating jalapenos. <laughs> yeah. This plug right here is a spot where you can plug in your hair straightener or your hair dryer or whatever else you need to get ready for the day. And what do we got right here? What are these silver? So this is actually another part that's really unique about the trailer. These are actually steps to the roof because the roof is 100% walkable. It was designed to be able to hold a thousand pounds on the roof. So I'll go up on the roof. So here we go. Hey, and I'm, uh, it's pretty sturdy. I'm 300 and, no, I'm not. You're 300? No, I'm not. I'm 225. It looks like we have some more tracks up here so we can yep. install some stuff. So up here, we have a lot of different options. Some people are gonna mount solar up here. We did purchase the option for a rooftop shade. They refer to it as a bimney that they use on boats, okay? So it does have the option that you can set up a rooftop shade so you can come out here, sit on some chairs and lounge on your rooftop deck. Or another option, which is significant, is a rooftop tent. Okay. We can mount a king size rooftop tent up here so that we can take our sleeping from two adults to four adults. Okay. There so, you. or a family of five, if you have three kids, you can throw them in that tent. That's gonna change the dynamics of this trailer, going from the ability to sleep two to potentially five. That's so awesome. that's a big deal. That's awesome. Or just have a cool hangout spot and yeah. get a, you know, NASCAR and sit on your roof or whatever. You yeah, guys. so you can, mount, you can mount stuff up here. Like I said, solar panels, gear, whatever. You've got T-tracks all around, so. We can set this up however you want. Okay, we should go down and check out the room. Okay. One, two, two three. three. <sighs> Whoa. Here we are inside. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the living space inside of the RKS Purpose. So what you're seeing here is this living space in couch mode. Okay, and we actually ordered our units to come with a table. This is an option that they have, which I really like. So if you needed to work from inside of here on the go, like this is very realistic. 
that you can use this space right here for eating. Um, actually, Shane, if you can take that off, if we had the, the door open to the kitchen, we could be cooking out there and we could actually pass all of the food right in here through this back area and all of us could sit here at this table and eat. Yeah. My wife and my two kids could easily sit here inside of the unit if it was pouring down rain. And you could be passing food. Under yes, here. not a problem. With yawning out and everything. Yep, and everybody would be nice and dry. Oh, okay. Cool. So I really like this table. You know, we could probably play games here, whatever. So really nice feature. Let's go ahead and set it up in bed mode. So I think we can just do it right here, right? Just Take yeah. Your shoes. Yeah, I guess we can. And there's a little lever right here. Yep. It just opens up. All right. Let me take off my shoes. And then this is just kind of right where your shoe is. Did it miss? No, I think it did. Okay. Right there. And this guy. That's it. Kaboom. We now have a queen size bed. Okay. It's that simple. It's pretty nice, slick. Nice and cozy. Yeah. We have some USB outlets right here. Yep. So you can plug in, charge your cell phones. Yep. Um, nice mood lighting all around. These, here. having the windows open on each side, we have a really nice cross breeze growing through here. It helps to cool things off really well. Yeah, for sure. And it looks like we got some- uh, Storage right here. Storage, like for your cell phone right there. Yeah. It's great. Glasses. Boom. Now, before we move on to maybe this in here and talk about the electrical system, I'd like you to actually see one of the really nice features on this trailer, which is actually this wall mounted flat screen TV. So let's see if we can get Jordan in here to see that. Here we got our uh, television. We just, we're out in the middle of nowhere, but I actually have service. So I just did my hotspot and turned on the smart tv yep and we got a uh outlets over here with usb ports we got some more usb yep charge ports uh this is really cool you know some people are like uh, you're out camping you don't want a television but to me it's like well sometimes it's raining when you're out camping yeah and if you have kids this is like a lifesaver yeah the other thing that i've noticed is sometimes when we're out camping especially in the fall and spring it gets dark around 6, 7 p.m. Yeah. And my little girl wants to be outside and it's getting cold. Yeah. And all the adults want to sit around the fire and chat. And so sometimes we say, you want to go inside and we'll throw on a, you yeah. know, a Disney movie and let you watch and relax. And, you know, you're nice and cozy and warm and out. And we're all out by the fire hanging yeah. out and enjoying ourselves, right? Yeah. Drinking some root beer. Yeah. Yeah. And just enjoying ourselves. <laughs> yeah. So once again, you know, just as it's really been the theme throughout this trailer, the components that they use. So you can see here that even the television, you'll find in a lot of trailers that they're using, you know, a lot of- Dumb, cheap, dumb TVs, dumb TVs. Definitely yeah. not smart TVs. Yeah, they're just a lot of cheap TVs. This is Vizio, right? Yeah. So they're using name brand for a lot of the components throughout the whole trailer. And wait until you see the electrical system. Oh, the electrical system is phenomenal, right? Everything on this is, they're not putting in cheap stuff, so. No. Okay, well, let's take a look at that. Okay, now we wanna talk a little bit about what's underneath the couch bed area. First of all, I just wanna point out that this is one of the cleanest wiring jobs and systems I've ever come across in any type of camper caravan behind this like custom made metal plate they have all the wiring it's hidden behind there but you can completely remove all this system and work on it on a table a bench really really easy to service and you don't have a lot of things running into places that you can never get to you can see you have all of your breakers you have your fuse panel here um, starting all the way at the the back of the trailer you have the two lion energy those are lithium ion and those are uh, 105 amp hours each as you can see there's tons of space to expand you know you just go across the floor and you can keep on putting more and more units um, but come stock with those two 105 so a total of 210 amp hours you have the victron they've gone with everything victron victron is amazing most people will argue that it's the best in the world um, i'm not going to argue anything otherwise it is 
phenomenal yachts marine industry uses them you have the 2000 watt victron inverter and charger system right to the right of the batteries and then to the right you have the orion dc to dc charger now this is not actually to charge while you're driving what they've used this for is they've used this to wire into the uh, 24 volt air conditioning system so it goes directly to the air conditioning system um, and the reason why you, they do that is because it, well it's not 10 it's not a 12 volt, volt or a 120 it's a 24 volt system and it's also good is because it's more efficient when you're actually running the power and then moving over over to here you have the servo gx this is just a nice system because you run all of this electrical components into that and then there's one wire that then runs up to your controller right here and this is like i said this is all victron and victron is just just such a cool cool system right here right you can see your ac loads that you're using you see that you're uh 93 you're minus you're draining 85 watts or 6.4 amps your voltage is right here and i don't want to get too complex on all this stuff if you were to get a solar panel it would appear right here and then that solar panel would be coming in if we were to plug it in you would see power coming in and this is all the inverter system and then you go through you have menus and all kinds of settings and notifications and you can turn on your on or on and off your inverter set types of alarms and your battery you know what's your state of charge and all that so if you're changing out batteries victron is just such an incredible it is pretty actual simple to use for the person that's doesn't want to make things too complex you know all you need to see is look you got 93 percent battery once you get to zero, it means you're dead. When you're at 100%, it means you're fully charged. One of the things that does have a port on the outside for solar panels to be plugged in, the solar panels would need a solar charge controller because there's not a solar charge controller built into the trailer. We could add that for you if you wanted to, and then you would just plug in solar panels. And, and then, like I said, that would appear there. Now, above here, you have the Truma. This is your furnace system. Is this your water heater too? No, the water heater's up in the aqua belt. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is just your furnace. So this just turns on your furnace. Mm -hmm. Truma is amazing. Um, it's all ducted, too. You have ducts in the bathroom in the main area. So you'll stay nice and warm. And then over here, you have your Truma Go. This is, the, oh, this is your water. And then up here, you have the radio. And it is set up for Bluetooth, Sirius XM. And really, really nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Every, all the components in here, nothing, they have not spared any expense. This is a small off-road overlanding camper, but they have truly put in premium products from top to bottom, front to back, in every direction you can come up with. They've done a really good job. I'm super happy with their product. Of course, they got all your safety, your smoke alarms, your fire, fire, you CO2. know, CO2 and everything. So. You're uh, set to go. Okay. All right. Pretty well, cool trailer. It is. It is. I think things that stand out for me as we kind of reflect on this full tour that we've done, the way that they constructed the trailer, the components that they used, the fact that it was locally sourced is really cool. And the layout, the ability to have a lightweight trailer that has a full-size bathroom. Yeah, and park in your garage. Park in your garage, under seven feet, and it's uh, under 18 feet long. It's, it's a pretty unique product, and like I said earlier here at ROA Off-Road, we, we want to believe in what we carry. Yeah. We don't just want to carry anything. Right, we yeah. want to f carry quality products, campers that we feel like are, you know, not just they're well. Gonna last. They're not going to fall apart. They're not going to have very many issues. Yeah, they're well made, and also that the companies, the people that are building them, will stand behind them, will support the product, because we want. Well, here at ROA, we're all about a community. You know, we have, we have an incredible group of owners called Roamers, and. Our, our, our goal is to, you know, 
we don't just sell the campers, but we want to do, you know, camping trips with the roamers. We want to go to the rallies with them. And the worst thing is when you go out on a trip with somebody and they tell you, man, my trailer's falling apart, man, the warranty doesn't cover it. Like that's not what we want to have, right? We want great products so that when we're out doing our adventures and our trips and our rallies, we can, you know, just laugh and enjoy around the fire, hanging out together and just having those incredible, beautiful experiences. Thank you so much for joining us on this tour. Make sure to subscribe because we are not done yet. We have more tours, new trailers, not yet announced. Oh yes. Coming in the future. And this is, in fact, one of the trailers we haven't done a tour of is the Motive. Yeah. So we did a quick one at the, uh, at the expo, but we're gonna be doing a full tour here in the near future. People have been losing their minds over that, but RKS has a great product, but uh, again, just stay tuned. We have so much more to come and we're very appreciative of you guys following us and we hope to be able to continue to bring you quality, great content from trailers across the world. Yes, thank you and hopefully we see you on an adventure soon. Bye-bye. See ya. Okay, see more butts. This is for you. Oh yeah, see more butts <laughs> for you. That's right, we listen, we watch our channel. So if you have requests for things you'd like us to do, yeah. tours, send them. Seymour said, hey, where's our purpose tour? And here it is. And it can, so can, can, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you actually want to see a video, yeah. just you just got to ask a thousand times, like see more butts That's on every right. video <laughs> and we'll do it for you. Not really a thousand times, but he's asked a few times. Yeah. So we just want to give a shout out to see more You're butts. The man.